द ग्लोबल एपिडेमिक ऑफ आसनिक पॉइसनिंग इन ग्राउंड वाटर कंपाउंड द करंट ट्रेंड ऑफ डिक्लाइनिंग वाटर सिक्योरिटी टेंस ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल हैव बीन एफेक्टेड बाय स्किन लेजेंस लंग कैंसर्स एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव डिसऑर्डर्स ड्यू टू द कंजम्पशन ऑफ आसनिक रिच रिंगिंग वाटर Bangladesh one of the poorest and densely populated countries in the world are besieged by flooding cyclones earthquakes and are prone to many outbreaks of diseases increasing magnitude of arsenic contamination in groundwater exacerbates its problems in Bangladesh Naukali has the highest incidence of arsenic contamination level of 1000 to 2000 parts per billion covering the area of 2601 square kilometers This scenario desperately affects the population of Nokali of 2.5 million. Therefore, we created our innovative model to remedy arsenic from groundwater using terrace vitata. This is the fern terrace vitata commonly named as Chinese break fern. Compared to other plants this fern grows in arsenic contaminated soil with up to 15000 mg per kg. It also has the ability to accumulate 90% of arsenic in its front which is about 23000 mg per kg while the root extract is approximately 60%. Even the gametophyte of this fern display arsenic hyper accumulating ability. Naturally the soil and groundwater in Bangladesh contains high level of arsenic. A part of Ganga river runs through Noakali forming delta plains that also naturally hold a high concentration of arsenic. Over exploitation of groundwater further increases the concentration. People in Noakali rely on tube wells and duck wells for drinking water and river for agriculture. However, many people are not aware about the contamination and consequences of their consumption. Planting the Chinese break ferns around the wells and banks of Ganga River covering about 100 square kilometers will be the first phase of this remediation. This would eventually decrease the arsenic within the target area and the prevalence of the diseases. The Chinese break ferns will be collected from Chittagong, a nearby district of Noakali, where nearly 200 ferns will be collected. Also, 5000 ferns will be bought in the Eden space and grown by tissue culture in laboratories and then pre-planted at AUW site. With the help of AUW students, local community volunteers and hired laborers, the ferns will be monitored and planted in the target area. The level of arsenic in the soil and groundwater of planted sites in Nokali will be measured once a month for 2 years using the ICP OES method or arsenic testing kit. The young ferns have more extraction efficiency than the old ferns, but the old ferns can be reused by clipping the arsenic laden fronts. Then the fronts will be undergone pretreatment methods including compaction composting and pyrolysis for the final disposal the arsenic laden fronts of the ferns will be incinerated or disposed of at a hazardous waste facility in long term the country would benefit in terms of improvements in health and agricultural sectors aiming the human development index in standard level the coverage area will be increased up to the entire nokali district and some other parts that have the higher contamination level in next 3 years the dell innovation competition grant could make this innovative model viable permitting us to ensure the access of safer drinking water and make nokali a better place